Hello everybody, my name is Eric and this is my review number two. We will be doing a quadcopter RC remote control. My beautiful little Mobia on there. Show you that camera. My goal, I already had this, I already owned this. My goal was to buy a quad, again, at a low budget and be able to fly it. Now, there were many pluses to this, but I do not suggest this for anybody that expects to get smooth cinematography out of it, because it does not work. Video mode, traction area, flight one. Let's get down to it. We are doing a review of a Latrax alias. Latrax radio control alias, high performance quad rotor helicopter. That's what they call it. Here it is. Boom. Put that up there so you can see it. Do, 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 do. Now, comes with a remote, which I'll show you the charger and the thing. That's in the battery. Okay, one cool thing about this thing, this Latrax alias, is the lighting is pretty cool. You can fly it at night. I will show you some of that. Pretty neat. This thing does flips, spins, turns. They have four different colors, but you can get a ghost edition and a white edition, all kinds of different. Um, covers for it that are really cool. So it's a hobby. If you like quads, it's a cool little performance quad. Now, it says it's got a six axis and it does 3D flips, rolls, and twists. So if you have any experience with a quad, it's definitely not gonna be hard for you. And they have set programs so you can actually do these flips. Now there's three modes. There is an easy mode, a medium mode, which you can do the stunt from, or an expert mode. Now the expert mode is crazy. It, it, it's very hard to fly, you gotta be real easy. You can take it up in the air and do giant loops and, and technically what it does in medium mode, all the tricks and flips, you should be able to do that manually and expert, but I was not able to do that. Maybe somebody with more experience could do that. So it comes with this. This is the quad. It's kind of neat looking, pretty cool. Um, oh, I did change the blades out, put white and black. I think it have red and black. They're a little scuffed up. I definitely used it. This is the remote. This thing right here. So um, that's pretty much it. It comes with this, this, and the box. Comes with a battery, which do go bad. You gotta be careful. Always buy extra batteries. Um, a little lick for Max Amp. I bought one of theirs. Not too bad. Then it also comes with this little charger thing here. Oh, you can't see. Little charger thing. Little USB plug. You can charge it wherever. Pretty standard. This one comes with what you need. You don't have to buy an extra charge. I do recommend buying extra batteries, number one, right off the bat. 
Now I did look up the motors and the performance because like I said, I wanted to put this Mobius camera on that quad, which I did do and you will see the footage and it worked. But it'll get you a good picture maybe. You can get like a cool picture from Ariel. But the video is really, really, really shaky. Let me show you. For example, I literally used Velcro on this. Not, um, you can flip it upside down and program this little Mobius camera. That's another review. This thing is awesome. Basically what I did is I planted it under there facing down. And with it doing that, or even straight, you can see these just a little bit, one or the other, and if you do it wrong, both. Um, so you need to drop it down a little bit. What I did, I've, I put it there like that. I Velcroed it. This little camera um, definitely shuts down the performance on this thing though. Because this thing literally does twists and turns and flips and rotates. Now you put this on it, if I took it way up, I could do a flip with the camera, but then it was hard to keep it all the way up without kind of doing the wobble on the way down. So, not recommended. If you're gonna be an aerial cinematographer, you must have a gimbal. I will show you a picture of a gimbal right now. If you don't have the right setup, it will not be smooth. And that video was shot with these two items, right like that. Now, I did do a wedding and in that particular instance, I Velcroed it to the bottom so it was facing down. Now that was pretty cool. So when you go up, you could actually see this, you know, see the whole wedding. It was pretty cool. But the problem is this is so lightweight. It will carry this camera, but every time you get it up in the air and the wind's blowing hard, um, you're fighting the wind. So example, if the wind's blowing in from this way, you're gonna be fighting this way. So therefore, as you see, the camera's here, the camera will twist. So your footage is gonna be like this or like that. So that's really no good for cinematography. Now, if they made a gimbal system for this and you put a really light camera, you could try it, but it's not recommended. As far as a budget, this was my budget way to get a camera in the air, and I did indeed do that. I cannot suggest you go out and buy this and this to get aerial without warning you that it will be shaky, you will get okay pictures, decent pictures, but not really good footage. The footage will be very, uh, everywhere this flies, it flies. But now, without the camera, no camera, you have this guy, pretty cool. It does really cool tricks. If you are in the quad, it's a little cool one, relatively inexpensive. The lighting is awesome on it. All these lights, you have three different light setups, no lights, blinking lights or straight lights. You can do all kinds of things. It has this little light here, so you know where the rear is. And that's very bright, by the way. Um, they have it in the rear, but you could use it as a front. Um, that's how I use it to fly it. I keep it behind me and I can fly it anywhere. Because this does not have the automatic reverse thing. So if you're flying this way, right is right. If you turn it around, fly it back, it's backwards. It's not right is right no more. Now right is left, because it's backwards. Some RC quads you can buy do have that indeed. When it turns around, no matter what, it'll still go the same way you push. That is not the case with this. This thing is extremely fast and it is really cool. Now what I did do, I bought these motors called micromotorswarehouse.com. They have a black edition, which is supposed to be insane, make it all faster. Um, and I did notice a performance difference. It did help me get my camera in the air and it did make it a lot faster. From micromotorwarehouse.com, it is amazing. That's for quad motors, I do recommend them. So we covered that I bought my own camera, tried to put it on there, had a little budget, and that's what I came up with. The most important thing here for a cinematographer trying to get aerial footage is a gimbal system. That is a fact. No GPS. Like it, watch it, love it, subscribe. If there's something you would like me to review, please leave it in the comments. Until next time, this is Eric at CEH Productions, and I will see you soon. Now who are who's been in those situations that you just can't get out of? I for one and one, I don't know about you. And if I could speak on behalf of everyone I know, we would all come.
Show.